Good morning and welcome back. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. So as you can see in our last video, we had some pretty big news. Um, I'm still in shock, to be honest, and I'm 11 weeks today. So I am making this video because Sneak Peek came out with a new and hopefully improved way to draw your blood. And this is it. Sneak peek early DNA test with the new sneak peek snap. Okay. So basically, and I got the fast track so we know in a couple days. So I had a normal sneak peek kit and I opened it and I chickened out. I know I did it with Atlas, but I'm telling you what, those lancets hurt really bad, okay? And that's why I put music to that video because I was cussing up a storm. And yes, I can handle piercings and, you know, tattoos and stuff, but those just hurt different. So I had already ordered that sneak peek, opened it and chickened out. And then two days later, they advertised this. And I was like, I gotta try this. <laughs> I mean, it's literally brand new. Now, Sneak Peek says that this device compared to Lancets, 22% of users of the Lancet said that it didn't hurt. 90% of women that have tested this so far said that it didn't hurt. So I'm willing to try it. So let's unbox. Okay, so this is what should come with your, let me cover up my address. This is what should come with your sneak peek kit. So of course your return label, turn that over. And then a coupon, instructions, and these always come with it. And then this is a device that you crack this in the middle and it warms up and you just put it on your injection site before you do it it's okay here's the actual device which i will open that in a second and then your band-aids alcohol swabs wow your biohazard to put your sample in and then give me that please aggie ran off with the nail brush so i'm gonna scrub my hands and then we will get started Okay, I've washed my hands. They said let air dry, so I'm gonna let them dry for a second. But in the meantime, place all your kit contents on the surface, which I have. I got all this lined up and ready. And the body. It's ready for the blood. Now it says with this brush, I thought it was a nail brush, but they want me to scrub my arm for 30 seconds. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, yeah, I'll just do it on this side. They say put a little bit of soap on it, so I'm just putting a teeny weeny bit. Now I'm going to scrub. Circular motion for 30 seconds, or it says sing happy birthday three times, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going <laughs> to scrub it. Okay, that's good. Okay. 
Oh, well, that's it's air dry, and I'm going to open the device. And be in the bed bag. Okay. And then I'm going to... Place the well, first. I'm gonna crack that. Watch. It's pretty cool. And now it's nice and warm. I'm gonna put that on my arm. It says for four minutes, so I'll be back in four minutes. Okay, so now the directions say to take off the heat pack, wipe your spot with an alcohol swab while that air dries, then we can pull the adhesive cover off. It says turn the device upside down and peel the white liner from the bottom. Be careful, do not touch the adhesive on the device. call came through so I'm gonna switch it to the other side position with the tube facing down press it firmly to your arm using the adhesive to ensure a good seal it says once you place it do not move it so make sure it's in the right spot then it says grip the sides firmly do not break the seal with your skin. Then firmly press the blue plunger with two or three fingers. Once you hear the click, release the plunger immediately. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, count down for me, Laura. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, two one. one. There's no pain at all. That's good. Okay, now you set oh, yeah. your timer for oh, yeah. four minutes. Look, guys, <gasps> blood warning. Oh my god, I can see. But it's already it. going in. Oh. That's awesome. Okay, now I recommend this to everyone. There was absolutely no pain whatsoever. I don't want it. It says the blood can feel fast, which there's two little lines on the vial. It says allow four minutes, but I'm 30 seconds in and I'm done. So I'm going to peel it off. And so I'm going to set this down very carefully. I promise you guys, I'm kind of a pansy when it comes to pain. And there was absolutely no pain whatsoever. I promise. So I'm going to... Can't even tell. Well, yeah, because it dripped a bit, but. I can't even see where, oh, I see it. It's, the best way to describe it, it's like one of those, um, I don't know personally, because I'm not a diabetic, but it appears to work like the Dexcom device. was getting upset um looking up close at the wound i'll show you guys trigger warning if you're squeamish it appears to put several small little needles like that dexcom device i was talking about so maybe that helps distribute it more evenly i don't know sorry for all the distraction in the background I'm gonna put this band-aid on hold on a okay so now to remove this you're gonna separate it from the main device peel it off your skin which I already did hold the snap in one hand in the tube in an upright position with the other slowly bend the device casing so it separates from the tube which you can kind of see how it's acting as a plug so I'm gonna bend it this way first and it's off Blood warning if you're squeamish, sorry. 
okay? Just set that to the side. That's a one-time use thing, by the way. So then I'm just gonna pop this in. And it says when it's capped, put it down for a moment. They said fill between these two little lines right here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but there is two little lines. I'm not gonna pour any out though because I don't wanna contaminate it with the air or anything, you know, knowing my luck it would. So, um, it says firmly tap tube on a flat surface with the lid, with the lid side facing down to break up any blood. Oh, see, look, it's already starting to clot. There it goes. That's crazy. Okay, so now it says invert it 10 times and it's clotting again. There it goes, okay. I'm assuming that there was an anti-clotting agent in this, but as long as you keep doing that, it will uh, 10 times, so. Okay, I went and grabbed my box and my return label. So now it says, take a picture of your return label so you can track, which I already have. Collection bag. We're going to put the blood in there. Thank you, Willow. They wanted to feel the warm pack, which is pretty cool. Here, you can have it. It gets really hot for a couple minutes, but then it starts to cool down. Hi, you wanna say hi? Come here. No. No. I Don't be scared. Okay, so I wrapped it up. Hot. Hi. No, it ain't hot. Hi. Okay. And this Hi. is the only piece that you need to send back no. to sneak peek. You don't have to send anything else back. So, place it right in there. Remove the adhesive. Don't mess. It's too, okay. Really tight. No, no, no. I'm scared. Okay. Final step, which is whoops. Your return label. We're gonna put that on the back. You're probably hearing all kinds of weird noises. Yeah, Willow just stood beside me and farted. <laughs> Everybody does it, it's okay. All right, 13th and final step. Apply your label. Whoa, look at that double chin I got going on. And send it out. I am not good at that, so hopefully that'll do. Done. And I'm gonna go drop this off at the post office. And um, it's two day shipping. I ordered this Friday, it got here today, which is Monday. So I should know something by Wednesday. And uh, let me clean up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm throwing my trash away, but real quickly, I wanna, oops, I dropped it. I wanna show you guys what this device looks like and what the needles look like inside. Well, not really needles, but I'm in the sunlight so you can see. I pushed it back up because I wanted to see what it looked like also. Push it up. Let me turn my camera around because you can't really tell. So I'm holding the plunger with my palm, but if you look closely, you can see the little teeth. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna let that go because that's, it takes a lot of pressure to. I didn't feel anything. I don't know if you're gonna cut her hair. Yeah. I did not feel any pain whatsoever. I'm not sure if the, the heat pack helped, which I'm sure it did. I mean, you've seen how fast it filled up, but I didn't feel a scratch. I didn't feel a prick, a poke, nothing. So my recommendation is 1000% get this instead of the Lancet kit. Oh no, we got a hairstylist on our hands. <laughs> Anyways, do it, 100% worth it, painless. Sneak peek really stepped up their game. This was awesome, so. Yeah, <laughs> I just got poked in the eye.
Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna take it to the post office. When David gets home from work, we had to go do some shopping. Um, what else? So the way this works with twins is, if you get a girl result, girl. <laughs> if you get a girl result, that means both babies are girls. If you get a boy result, that means at least one of the babies are a boy. So I would like some sort of idea as to what we're having. So I can at least start shopping a little bit. Um, we're gonna set an early gender ultrasound at an elective place and do a gender reveal for you guys. The results that I get from this test, I'm not gonna share just yet because we're gonna make it a big surprise. So I'm sorry, it's chaos here all the time. Isn't it? Isn't it? All right. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. It will probably be the ultrasound, which we're going to go do in a couple weeks, right? Yeah. And I'm going to have them go out of the room. Scissors. I'm going to have Laura and Oliver go out of the room because we want to do confetti cannons to reveal a gender. So I know it's going to be fun, huh? All right. Well, say goodbye. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.